All right, so how's it going, everybody? We got ourselves some TTMs back and gonna open up two today. Yeah, let's see where we're gonna get today. Hopefully everyone's been getting some stuff back. I actually haven't been. I have two here, I have one more saved, and currently that's it as I'm making this. Today's September 13th, so yeah, hopefully some stuff starts coming back. I set a couple last minute baseball TTMs out, so we'll see if anything comes back with that. Hopefully that'd be kind of cool. Actually, that might be kind of a failure because I know one of them I sent over to <laughs> Roger Dean Stadium for Jazz Chisholm because I saw something that he was doing some rehab or like starting to do rehab over here. I think like a day or two later after I sent that out, I saw that. I think they sent him back to Miami <laughs> to uh, continue healing up or whatever there. And I was like, oh, that's great. But yeah, I got a couple Miami Dolphins I'm going to try, I guess. Send out to some football. I don't really have any other cards. I haven't had much luck with football, like active football player kind of thing. So I'm not too sure on that. Maybe I'll try some football? I don't know. I did see the Dolphins won. I watched that game against the Patriots. Don't want to get my hopes up because, I mean, I am a Marlins and a Dolphins fan after all. And you always have to expect the possible... It's, it's stupid, but you always have to expect the worst possible outcome. And I don't know. The team looked pretty good. I don't... But I don't know how good because I don't think the Patriots were playing that great. So I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know. One thing I've always been saying the Miami Dolphins need is an offensive line. So I don't know if they've done anything to that. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tua just threw the Tyreek Hill like the entire game. But I mean, things looked cool. So hopefully, you know what? So maybe they'll go even this year or something typical like that. But I don't know. I'm going to try and watch Dolphins games until... They turn back into the Dolphins or something like that. I haven't been watching any baseball. <laughs> I love the Marlins, but the games aren't even, like, interesting. <laughs> you know, like, at least make it interesting. I think they, I saw they won. Are they playing the Rangers, I think, yesterday? I think they won, like, 9-3 to three or something like that. I think they, I forget, it was like, forget how many runs. They scored a ton of run, a bunch of runs in it. One inning, I think I saw on, like, my phone update thing. But, yeah, I don't really want to watch any of the Marlins baseball games because, uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll wait till playoffs. We'll start watching some playoff baseball. That should be enjoyable to watch. So yeah, I've kind of been out of the loop with baseball just because I like the Marlins, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully you've been getting some TTM stuff, any stuff you've been sending out. I've been cleaning up. I'm going to have a couple of Pokemon videos, like Pokemon collection videos that I'm pretty happy about. Uh, I've been going through storage finally with my mom and... I've been finding a lot of my old cards and old Pokemon stuff, and I found the cool stuff, which if I remember, I'll point it out in the background. But hopefully those videos will be up before I upload this. I don't know. I'm not sure in the order I'm uploading things, but if not, then wait for the Pokemon video. Yeah, I've been finding a bunch of cool stuff. I've been cleaning out, like, earlier every day, I've just been cleaning out boxes, and we're also, like, helping a family friend who sold their condo kind of thing. And there, so it's like all their stuff plus our stuff. So it's, it's a lot at once, but we're doing it. <laughs> so that's like basically all I've been doing. I haven't really been playing that many video games lately. I need to get back into it. I know I'm doing Yakuza 0. I'm not too sure about the Fire Emblem Warriors game. I don't know. I'm kind of not having fun with that one anymore, but I'm definitely going to finish Yakuza 0. I, I really like that game. That's a lot of fun. You've been playing any video games lately? What video games have you been playing? Let me know. So let's see what we got back today. Okay, so we've adjusted the background. It's like I was saying, some Pokemon stuff. I found a sealed Zap deck. <laughs> Theme deck. Like one of the original ones. I also bought this plastic, I think it's acrylic thing? It's like $25. It's kind of expensive. But I thought for this it would be worth it kind of thing to keep it nice. It's still sealed. You'll see it in a, I'm uploading a bunch of Pokemon. I'm currently editing a bunch of Pokemon videos. So probably over the next couple weeks you'll be seeing some Pokemon stuff for me because I'm finding my own cards, my old cards that I've been saying that my mom and I have finally gone through storage and stuff and I'm actually finding like sealed stuff that I cannot believe. <laughs> uh, nothing like super crazy but I mean to me this is super crazy because these are super cool. I remember seeing these in the like that. I have I found like three or four so far sealed. Actually, I think I found three. No I think two sealed of the like regular ones and um, it's it's I don't want to spend like a hundred dollars on just cases even though these are very nice i mean so and it's got like magnetic on the top so it's like 
So that's kind of secure. I like the magnet, that's kind of nice like that. But I figured only probably one, maybe two, because I found a couple other uh, not sealed theme decks, but they're like nice condition to kind of like, to be in like a display. Kind of deal. And then I did find like my main Pokemon card that I had to put in a new sleeve that also probably needs to be focused. My Shadowless Charizard. I kept saying I had this. <laughs> and sure enough. And it's actually in amazing condition. Like there's like a couple. I mean I'll show it. I show it closer up in the video. But right there you can probably see. It's like a print line on the hollow going across. But there's some like scratch. There's actually. It's really weird. I don't think there's any scratches on the hollow. But on the card. There's like some spots where it's hard to see through the case. But. In the other video you can see them but so that's really cool i'm like really glad that's in really good condition but yeah we got ourselves two envelopes to open today one of them from brockton massachusetts i guess that's may 31st and el paso texas from july wow these are like months ago that's what i haven't been getting like the last one i have is from july 26th yeah we haven't been getting anything back <laughs> The thing about these videos, I guess I need to send a lot more out, so I'm constantly getting some back, but that's kind of like what I've said before that I was kind of trying to avoid that I just wanted to do the TTM thing to like players and actors, actresses and stuff or whatever that I like kind of wanted to and I didn't want to end up doing this kind of just to do it kind of thing, if that makes sense, you know? like. I don't want to just be sending it off to random people, even though I'm kind of doing that with the baseball cards. But at the same time, I like baseball a lot, so I don't feel too bad about that. But, yeah, I don't know. I have to figure it out because if because these TTM videos are solely dependent on if these people send stuff back, you know? So this envelope, you might notice it's bigger. This, I think this is the first one we've got back. That This should be 4 by 6 pictures because I, I think I showed in a previous video that I had bought some of these envelopes. But you can see they're, like, bigger than the normal size. And they, I forget what the dimensions are, but that fits the pictures perfectly, and we'll see. I mean, it's all up to the mail if it's damaged or not, but let's open up that last. This feels like a couple cards in there, but yeah, hopefully everyone's getting some stuff back that you're sending out. Like I was saying, I should probably try some football this year, maybe. No, it's already the first week, but we'll see that my index oh, card. Oh, I see tops. In, index card's still in there. This in focus. Always got to make sure. For, I got to start paying attention to that more. Cause sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, wait, I should make sure it's focused. Ooh. Well, that's 19 Gypsy Queen. Who? Oh, Mike Clevelinger. Uh, not signed and not signed. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's a bummer. We'll have to see when we... I think I saw people were getting him back, I thought, or something. The thing, like, the FBI didn't come after me for that one. I got... I, got, <laughs> I feel like that's the worst. I, usually, I'm pretty good. You can probably see on this one, it's, like, hazy. I didn't do too great of a job getting the baby powder. Usually, usually I'm, like, really good about that. Like, that I can feel it. Huh. Maybe that's a good thing you didn't get it, because I'd probably be on a watch list somewhere, but okay. Hopefully we wrote down where we sent that, and camera's flashing low battery as I just start recording. I really need to buy new batteries. Okay, yeah, I think that's the main problem. I need to buy new batteries. Cause I got these, what are they called, power extra? Literally, it's already, I was gonna. I was just about to say, it's already at half battery, and then now, 11 seconds into the recording, it's flashing red. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've had these for several years. All right, so the actual Canon camera battery that came with the camera showing full charge multiple years and I think they were like 20 bucks or something like that So that's pretty good value. Uh, hopefully they still make them This camera is kind of old. Anyway, let's open up envelope from Brockton Hopefully this is hopefully we don't have Two unsigned things. That would be kind of a bummer Because then I would have to open up our last envelope that I'm trying to save that kind of thing so let's see what we got in here blue that's a lot of skies oh i 
think I know. Is it like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Figure skater, right? I'm pretty sure. Completely blanking out on the name, but is it signed? Yes! Cool. Did I get everything out of there? Yeah, that came out really nice. On the 4x6. Awesome. And... Awesome. Oh, PJ, believe in yourself. I remember... Yeah. Okay, is it Nancy Kerrigan, I think? Because she used to be... I'm trying to, like, remember the whole story thing, and I will after I look up to see how long this took. Because she was, like, the one... She was, like, the amazing figure skater, like, back in the day, right? Because I'm pretty sure I remember always hearing her name when I was a kid. I think I remember it was, like, really hard. I don't know why it's, like, always hard. Because getting the people that are in the Olympics, I think it's, like, pretty cool. Especially if they've won. I don't, I don't care what color medal, but uh, it's, like, always really hard for some reason to find a good picture of them where they're wearing the medals, which I think is really cool. But, yeah. Thank you, Miss Kerrigan. That came out amazing. Awesome. That made me w wish I did a 8x10. That would have been really cool. But just trying it out like that. And, I mean, I'm completely happy with that. That's really cool. That's, like, actually came out really nice. That's probably, like, one of the best autographs we've ever got. Like, super clean. He's got a good Sharpie. Hell yeah. But, yeah, that's really cool. Because, like, growing up, you know, you always heard about her. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's see how long, well, that took. And then the no signature... Mike Clevelinger. All right, so with Mike Clevelinger, I guess we sent to El Paso Chihuahuas back in April. So he was either doing rehab or doing minor league something. So that's a bummer. Maybe they called him up or something like that. But yeah, Nancy Kerrigan, we sent out in May, I believe. And yeah, I did, like refresh really quick. Now I remember kind of that. Like it was like her and the Tanya Harding thing. Didn't know like one of the people like break her leg or something crazy like that. I don't know. That's pretty insane, but... Yeah, that came out literally perfect. I just kind of wish I did an 8x10 now, because that just looked... If I would have known her autograph would have turned out like that nice, because that would look amazing on an 8x10. But this looks amazing like this. I'm really glad I have this. So that's pretty cool, because that's kind of like a history. kind of. I mean, it's a crappy part of history, but yeah, that's super cool. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Carrie. That came out nice. So as of now, we only have one envelope left. Hopefully some stuff starts coming back. Now that baseball season's kind of wrapping up. What's today? 14th. Hopefully I have enough time. Because I got... I'm not sure why I got... Oh, I got two because I think I wanted to keep one. But I got these... I think these are like one of the only Jorge Soler. And he's in the Marlins jersey. So I think I still need to send those out. I should do it today. And get that out. Maybe there'll be a little bit of time. Because I've seen he does sign for people. I just don't know if he'll get it in time for the season ends. But and I, I thought one fun one the other night that uh, Cardsmith Breaks, I'm sure you've heard of them, I jumped in a UFC break, and I totally missed out on it. I think I ended up playing Valorant with some of my friends or something, and I missed out. I didn't, I haven't watched the break video. I should go do that after. But, so I don't know if I got anything. It feels a little thicker, because usually if you don't get something, they send a pack of cards so that if you're like a hitless pack the infamous Sam and Omni hitless pack which is all too common for me but I love all them Jules over there and Ryan they're very nice people and they have like a good community kind of thing so ooh, I see some cards so at least because I think it was just a one thing oh we got something out of 199 Julia Pena Back one, Jupiter Sailfish, leading us off, Jupes. You're still around. So I think we got something, because I don't have a hitless pack. Valentina Shevchenko. And I figured I might be able to, like, send some of these cards out. That a lot of the UFC fighters seem to be... But So this was that weird one, Chronicles, 2022 Chronicles. I think I've seen some people get her back, so that'd be pretty cool. Because she's, like, a very good fighter. Uh, Chuck Liddell. I think I've seen some people getting him back. That'd be kind of a bad card, though. That's the thing with UFC cards. They're all kind of 
very difficult. Mackenzie Dern. Khabib, yeah. Uh, I doubt he signs, <laughs> you know, but who knows? Maybe give it a try. Jessica Andrade. Francis Ngannou, that'd be really cool. That'd show up a nice card. The sign. Then we got, oh, Misha Tate out of 80 of 99. We have got her, where is it? I've got her before. Okay, we got her to sign. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, and is this auto or is this a numbered card? No, it's just a Julia Pena. So it's just a parallel? 8 of 199. Cool. Maybe we'll sell it and I uh, have to see. I don't know because I hate to send them Misha again, but she has a nice autograph and that'd be kind of cool on the card that we got signed or uh, we got from like a break or something. So yeah, I have to look up some of these. Maybe we can get them signed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen people getting Valentina and I feel like Chuck Liddell also, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I think that's all I got. As always, Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you've been doing well. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.